How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of ingrown hairs on the back of your neck, a tutorial. <clears throat> so before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support it helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. So this is very common. Now, most of the times you get ingrown hairs after you get a haircut. I just had a haircut, you guys. I have no ingrown hairs. I've had haircuts before where I do get ingrown hairs. Very, very common because normally they do shave you in the back of the neck and that's what causes ingrown hairs is the shaving. Now, you can still get ingrown hairs just randomly. It has nothing to do with getting a haircut. And um, there is an easy way. It doesn't matter how you get the ingrown hairs. There is an easy way of getting rid of them. Literally, all you need to do is get a warm compress and soak it on the ingrown hair for about 10 to 15 minutes. Warm compress, make sure it's not too hot, but make sure it's warm. Hold it on the ingrown hair for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, after that, this is where it gets a little tricky. If it's on any other part of your body other than the back, it's pretty easy to get rid of because you can see it. The back of the neck, you probably won't be able to see the ingrown hair. So you might have to get a friend, a family member, whatever. You might have to get someone to actually pull that hair for you. Again, what you could do is get a pair of tweezers and you kind of feel it in the back of your neck and then you can kind of pull it out like that. Another thing you can do is after you apply the warm compress, that ingrown hair, um, chances are the pus will be drained. You could actually a lot of times just leave the ingrown hair and it will actually start to grow by itself normally again. So needless to say, the warm compress works amazing. End of video. Thank you so much for watching.